The Lord be with you. Welcome everybody to this, the very first Benefice Collective Worship of this new term and this new year. It is really good to be with you again. I hope you've all had a fantastic summer, whether you stayed at home or whether you maybe went away. But it is good to be with you again now. For anyone new to our schools who doesn't know me, my name is Reverend Wright and I'm here today to talk about new starts. September is such a time of new starts, isn't it? Perhaps you're starting school for the first time or perhaps if you're in year two you've moved to a new school or maybe you're in the same school but you've moved to a new school year perhaps with a new teacher. So many new things. On Wednesday, the church celebrates the birth of Mary, Jesus' mother, who Christians believe was the son of God. We don't actually know much about Mary. Church tradition tells us that her mother's name was Anna, but we don't actually know this. And we don't hear anything about Mary as a child. The first time we hear of her is when the angel Gabriel comes to visit her when she's an older girl to ask her to become the mother of Jesus. And this is what Mary is really known for, saying yes to this new start. A new start so big we're still talking about it 2,000 years later. And here's that story. Mary was a young girl living in the village of Nazareth. She was engaged to marry Joseph. One day, God sent an angel, the angel Gabriel, to Mary. The angel Gabriel said, Peace be with you, Mary. God has chosen you for something wonderful. Mary couldn't believe her ears. Me? God chose me? Mary trembled with fear. What could the angel mean? There must be some mistake, she said. But Gabriel said, don't be afraid. You are precious to God. And God is asking you to have a baby whose name will be Jesus. You must be joking, Mary cried. How on earth can that happen? Gabriel smiled. Don't worry, Mary. God will send God's Holy Spirit to be with you so that the child born to you will be the Son of God. Everyone will look on him with wonder. Mary was amazed. She said, yes, I will do that. I will be the mother of God's own son. Then the angel Gabriel left and Mary was filled with joy and her heart sang, God is good. And now I will share in God's good plan. I will be the mother of Jesus. Well, I don't know about you, but I imagine Mary must have felt very afraid. It's a pretty big thing to be asked to do to become the mother of God's own son. But she said yes to that new start. And Christians believe her yes changed the world forever. Because through her, Jesus, God's son, was born. Really important part of the story of Mary with Gabriel, though is Gabriel's words to Mary, don't be afraid. And that's what God says to us today when we have a new start. Don't be afraid. Somewhere else in the Bible, God says, don't be afraid. I have called you by name. You are mine. Whatever happens, I will be with you because I am your God and you are precious to me and honoured and I love you. 
Whatever new start you're experiencing, remember the angel Gabriel's words to Mary. Don't be afraid. Because God is with you and me, just as God was with Mary. And remember that just as something amazing came from Mary's new start, amazing things can come from your new start too. I'm going to say a prayer now and if you would like to and you agree with it, you are welcome to say Amen with me at the end. So let us pray. Loving God, thank you for the gift of stories. Thank you today for the story of the angel Gabriel's visit to Mary and Mary's yes to that new start. We pray that you would be with us in our new start as you were with Mary in hers. And we pray that just as something amazing came from Mary's new start, so may amazing things come from ours too. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Great to be with you again after this long summer holiday and I really look forward to being with you all next week.